Hey guys, this is Tevin with Pin Stop Shop, and you are watching Arriving at Camp Bisco Music Festival. So, to get right into it, Camp Bisco Music Festival is a camping music festival held in Scranton, Pennsylvania on Montage Mountain. So Camp Bisco is actually held at a ski resort slash water park. Yes, you heard me correctly. Camp Bisco is held inside of a water park. But Tevin... Can you go on the slides when you're at Camp Bisco? Why yes, Other Tevin, you certainly can. Your ticket comes with access to all of the facilities at the water park. Wow, that's amazing. Does that mean that I can ride slides while listening to my favorite set? Yes, it does, Tevin. Yes, it does. So I've been on Facebook and I've seen a lot of people asking, you know, how do I camp at Camp Bisco? What is the best way for me to camp at Camp Bisco? So what I'm going to do is explain the different ways that you are able to access Montage Mountain and get yourself set up to camp. The first way is going to be your most basic and probably the most difficult way for you to get onto the mountain. If you have not purchased a parking pass, then you are going to show up at Camp Bisco and park in a parking lot. You will leave your car there for the duration of the festival. You will then be unloading all of your camping supplies out of your vehicle and getting into a line to take a shuttle to the top of the mountain. Let me repeat that just to be clear. You will be arriving at the festival, unpacking all of your gear, carrying all of your gear to the shuttle, waiting in line for the shuttle. The shuttle will then bring you to the top of the mountain. Okay. So now that we've gotten to the top of the mountain with our gear, our journey is not yet over. You see, Camp Bisco is held on a mountain, on a ski resort, and you actually camp on the hill of the mountain, on the slants of the mountain. Now, never fear, there is flat ground available. However, those spots get taken up pretty quickly. In addition, you have the ski lanes, and in between the ski lanes are, um, you know, trees that separate each of the lanes. In my personal experience, it's best to camp in the lanes with the trees. Uh, the sun beats down hard all day long, so uh, it gives you protection from the sun, it gives you protection from the rain. I definitely recommend trying to grab a spot in one of the lanes that has some tree cover, can set up a hammock and, and make yourself a nice little campsite there. So now that we've reached the top of the mountain, we're now going to be unloading all of our stuff off of the shuttle. After all of our belongings are off of the shuttle, we now have to wait in line for a trailer. The best way to think about it would be if you've ever gone on a haunted hay ride and you get on the back of a trailer and a tractor pulls you around a cornfield, it's gonna be something like that. So we've gotten all of our belongings off of the shuttle and now we're waiting in line for a trailer. Once we wait in line for a trailer, we're going to be unload, up, uploading all of our uh, belongings onto the trailer. The trailer driver is then going to take you on a pathway through the mountain. There are two different paths. There's a lower path of the mountain and there's a higher path of the mountain. Now keep in mind, I'm basing all of this information off of past years. It's possible that they might do things a little bit differently this year but the system has been working out a little bit better for them in recent years, so I don't anticipate much changes to this. Now, which path of the mountain that you take depends on the trailer that you get on. So be sure to ask the representatives there which trailer you're getting on and which path it is, and make sure that it's the right path that you and your group are comfortable with. So now that we're on the trailer, we're gonna begin scouting out our campsite, there will be several stops along the mountain where you will be able to unload all of your belongings off of the trailer and then from there you are on foot by yourself attempting to scout out where you and your group of friends is going to camp. I just want to remind you at this point that you are going to be camping on a mountain. Yes a slanted mountain. It is very possible that you will be securing a campsite in the sun on a slant. So make sure that you are prepared for that. I think at this point, a lot of people are going, oh my goodness, that sounds horrible. I don't think that I can do that. It's not as bad as you think. It's not exactly the best case scenario, but in my personal opinion, camping on the mountain 
adds to the entire experience that is Camp Bisco. Now, if you're still with me and you're liking this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more content for you guys. And I know that you guys will really appreciate it. Okay, so now that we've gotten past the most rudimentary way to get onto the mountain, we are now going to move to option number two. Option number two is for you to purchase a parking pass. A parking pass will allow you and your vehicle to drive to the top of the mountain and park where the trailers are picking up. This is a highly, highly recommended option. If you do not purchase your parking pass, you will be stuck at the bottom of the mountain with everybody else awaiting your turn for a shuttle. If you purchase a parking pass, you will be able to drive to the top of the mountain, go through security, and park close to where the trailers are driving people to their spots on the mountain. Again, this is a highly recommended option because you will not be stuck at the bottom of the mountain with everybody else. You will be able to take all of your belongings to the top of the mountain in your vehicle and unload your vehicle near the trailers. You will still need to upload all of your belongings onto a trailer and wait for that trailer to take you around the mountain to get your spot. Okay, so let's review. Option number one, show up at the bottom of the mountain without a parking pass, unload your belongings, wait in line for a shuttle, then take that shuttle to the top of the mountain, unload your belongings, bring your belongings to get in line for the trailer, load your belongings onto the trailer, and then finally take that trailer around the mountain to find your camping spot. Option number two is to purchase a parking pass. The parking pass will allow you to go to the top of the mountain where your vehicle will be searched, unload your belongings near where the trailers are picking up, and then again, load your belongings onto that trailer and take the trailer to your spot on the mountain. Now, I just want to close out this video by saying Camp Bisco Music Festival is absolutely amazing and highly recommended. I mean, the venue is actually held inside of a water park. Yes, that means that you can be in your bathing suit, in a wave pool, listening to your favorite DJ. You know, I'm actually not going to go into any more detail than that. I'll make a different video that will describe in detail the experience that you're going to have at Camp Bisco. All I wanted to say was that Camp Bisco Music Festival is absolutely incredible, highly recommended. Get your tickets now. If you don't have that parking pass, I put a link down in the description. You can go there to purchase your parking pass. Yes, it is possible that they will sell out. In fact, it's possible that as I'm making this video, the parking passes have already sold out. I know that there will be people reselling them, so do not panic. However, I highly recommend if you plan on camping on the mountain to purchase a parking pass. It's going to make your life and your life of your friends much, much easier. Remember, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And lastly, leave a comment. What did you think about the video? And also, what other content would you like to see? What other festivals would you like me to make videos about? So thank you so much, guys.